school like that? Oh my god. Why would you open oh. it up? Oh my god. <gasps> <laughs> Hey, Chromebooks! It's the 6th B. The B is silent. Let's keep it covered. Welcome to Chromebook Damagers Anonymous, everybody. I'm so happy we can be here together to support each other as we start our journey towards intact Chromebooks. Are you actually proud to have damaged your Chromebook? Chromebooks? This isn't a football meeting? No, the football meeting is in the auditorium. No, Ian, we can teach you how to prevent damage! <sighs> Alright, well, why don't we start by introducing ourselves and telling everybody how we've reached our point of damage. I'll start. Terrific. My name's Jared. Hello, Jared. Hello, Jared. Well, it was a normal day. I was finishing up editing an article for Index, our award-winning school newspaper, when suddenly I felt something wrong. I took out my handy protractor and sure enough, in my enthusiasm for journalism, I had opened my Chromebook to a dangerous 91.05 angle <gasps> instead of a healthy 90 degrees. As I began to adjust my egregious fault, one of my fellow index editors was suddenly hit by a passion for news that they shook me, causing me to open my Chromebook to a dangerous 360 degree angle. Hi, Hi, Ava. I was using my Chromebook to charge my phone and watch the latest Black Mirror episode when I suddenly remembered that both of those things really contribute to wearing down the battery. Very good, Ava. Netflix, gaming, and using your Chromebook to charge another device can all lead to dead batteries. Right, so just as I was about to stop the episode, it suddenly made a really good point about how humanity has a really dangerous dependency on technology, and how, with little more than a few simple evolutions, we could essentially become slaves to our corrupted robot overlords. So I lit it on fire. Oh, well, it looks like we've got our work cut out for us with you guys. I'll go now. My name's Cal, and I broke my Chromebook because it wasn't in its case. Oh, that's very common, Cal. Three twenty-eight a.m. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. What? Oh, 
Chrome bookcases are essential to protect the beautiful treasure inside. We were having a great time together, doing homework and talking about the current political climate. Light stuff. Uh, when we were finished, I began to close my Chromebook, only to realize that I had left my pencil on the case. Luckily, I remembered, and I stopped myself before I could crack the screen. Shelby then said that... Many people close their schoolwork or headphones into the screen, causing damage. She was so appalled by my irresponsibility that she broke up with me on the spot. And then, she tossed my Chromebook onto oncoming traffic. Julia, would you like to share why you're here? I spilled ice cream on my Chromebook. Julia! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, Jesus! Oh. Chromebooks! You were all off to great starts before you damaged your Chromebooks. You know the basic steps to avoid damage. Always keep your Chromebook in its case. Avoid eating or drinking around your Chromebooks. Avoid ripping the keys off of your keyboard to make letters for your friends. And always keep your Chromebook battery strong by using Netflix and gaming as little as possible. You make a good point. Maybe it's best to respect our technological overlords now before they even become in power. Uh, what if we try our best, but we end up breaking our Chromebooks anyway? Well, if it's your first time, the Oshkosh Area School District will cover the cost of the Chromebook. The second time is a $60 fee for the student. The next must be paid in full by the student, plus there will be disciplinary measures taken. That's fair. I learned a lot today. About Chromebooks, about respect, and about myself. Am I too late for the Chromebook damage meeting? When's your due date for this? Whenever we get it done. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs>